This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. The annual Share the Harvest Chili Bowl cook-off is taking place this weekend. And this morning, we're getting a sneak peek. We have Marsha Jones from the Missouri Department of Conservation here this morning to tell us more about it. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good morning. So I'm really excited about this. I am too. And um, what, um, so when is it taking place? It's Saturday, um, February the 8th. Okay. From uh, 11 to 3 okay. at Ray Miller Elementary School. And um, all of the proceeds, because it's a free will donation or canned goods at the door. Okay. Um, go to the local food pantry that supports our Share the Harvest program here in our local community. Okay, so before we uh, talk about Share the Harvest uh, program, let's go ahead and talk about the actual chili cook-off. Sure. So uh, you're still looking for people to participate. Absolutely, we're seeking uh, people to come and bring their chili. We just need you to bring two and a half gallons, and we have three categories this year. Oh. Last year it was only wild game, but... Uh -huh. Um, we thought maybe we limited our participants that way, so mm -hmm. we've got three categories. And what are they? Um, regular chili, Ooh, okay. wild game chili, and a white chili. And then there will be a first and second place in each of those categories. Mm -hmm. And then of the top three winners of those categories, they'll go on to compete for cash prizes of $75 for the first place. Uh, I think it's uh, 50 for second, and third is the bronze chili bowl. And we've mm -hmm. got... Um, actual chili bowl trophies for those really? winners. Yeah. So, That's so awesome. yeah, it'd be great. And then of course we have the People's Choice Award. Uh -huh, which you said you're waiting to add something I'm to I'm going this. to add the golden antler later this week that will be attached to this. And this will be voted on by folks who go around and as they taste the chili, um, maybe generously leave a mm -hmm. cash tip for so that we can see who voted the strongest okay. to financially support that because as I said, all the proceeds are going to the Christian Community Food Depot to sh support our program here in the fall for Share the Harvest. Okay, now let's go ahead and talk about Share the Harvest program because this is an awesome program and it's Fabulous. been around since 1992. Mm -hmm. So tell us more about it. Well, you know, it's uh, really just a big cooperative team effort between hunters, mm -hmm. food pantries, and food processors. And then, of course, we have some great sponsors that help financially support that statewide. Um, but what happens is hunters who may or may not be able to utilize all of the deer or venison that they kill in the fall, take it into a local food processor like Noonan's Meat Market here in Adair County. Mm -hmm. They drop it off. That money, it, uh, it is donated into our local food pantry, and then that goes out in, to the community and helps folks, you know, uh, make it through hard times. Right, right. And we just actually ran a story in our 530 hour where uh, the numbers were released That's and right. over 4,000 deer hunters participated and they donated more than 227,000 pounds of venison. That's right. And that's statewide. And, you know, for food pantries and, and you know, just in your own budget, right. how much groceries cost. Yes. So if you think about, you know, maybe your husband lost your, his job or you're a single mom, protein is the hardest part to supplement right. into your family's diet. So being able to supply them with uh, venison helps them make it through some hard times and and hopefully, you know, Kirksville is a great community for taking care of Everybody their... Everybody comes together. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. Everybody absolutely. has each other's backs around here. That's right. And, you know, um, we're competing with another great event this week that's going on, and that's the Polar Bear Plunge. Actually, that's been rescheduled. Oh, really? Yes, it has been rescheduled until March 1st. So, because of the cold weather, now everybody can go and enjoy a bowl of chili. And wouldn't some hot great? chili yes. really taste yes. great on Saturday? Plus, we're also having a who can eat the most hot chili pepper competition going on. And we'll have some great activities for kids. Really? And some other games going on. Yeah, this year we're going to um, be doing some washers games and some beanbag games, little competitions going on inside the gymnasium. So to get Miller. everybody, you Really know, fun activity yeah. day. And it's not too late to sign up. It's a $25 registration fee. Okay. Um, you, need, you can bring your chili already cooked. We will be able to let you in, Ray Miller, so you can get everything warmed up and ready to go by about 10 that morning, and then the doors will open um, around 11. Uh, our judges will be in there around noon. People can come. You can sample as much chili as you want mm. to. It'll be a great day, really fun activity. Well, fantastic. So, again, it is this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Ray Miller Elementary School in Kirksville. What we'll do is we'll post everything on our website Fabulous. at heartlandconnection.com. We'll also link up uh, the link where they can uh, register and download the registration form. That would be so. great. Or they can call the Kirksville Tourism Office and get an application from there as well. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, Marsha, for coming Thank you. It's on. great. Always good to see you, Ella. And we'll be right back.